Hey guys, it's Miss Christy. So this week we're coming to you a little bit different than usual. It's just me. Um, I don't have Miss Amanda with me this week, as you can probably tell by now. Um, but we're doing it a little different this week. So this is going to be the last week that we come, Miss Amanda and I come at you live virtually. Uh, the next couple of weeks, Miss Kathy and Miss Teresa are going to come with a uh, live or virtual lessons uh, that are going to be posted to YouTube. Um, so this, this is going to be our last week. Hopefully we not hopefully we know in a couple of weeks after Miss Kathy and Miss Teresa get done, uh, we are actually going back in kids church at White Oak. So we are very excited. Uh, we are getting everything ready. We're getting plans ready. We're, we're just excited. We're pumped up. We're hope you, you are excited as well. I hope you're ready. Uh, tell your parent, your grandparent, whoever brings you to church, um, to be listening, to be looking out for more details, the date, I think it's the middle of October, uh, but don't hold me to that. But uh, just be looking, listening for the date when Kids Church is going to open back up. We hope to see you there. We're ready to see you there. We're excited to see you there. Okay. All right. So for this week, we're going to wrap up September, the month of September. We are wrapping up Proverbs. Okay. That's what we've been talking about. Last month in August, we talked about Psalms. This month, we're talking about Proverbs. It's our last video for Proverbs. So I wanted to give you a couple of tips today on how to best use Proverbs, on how to best use Scripture. Um, so I'm going to get on into the lesson, and uh, it shouldn't be long today, but, but I hope you really listen. I hope you do what the tips that I'm going to give you, okay? Let's say a quick little prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the day. I thank you that you have given us another beautiful day to live our lives for you, to wake up and arise and shine and, and call forth the glory of the Lord. Father, I pray that you would take this lesson and you would help us remember it and help us to do the tips that I'm giving these kids today so that they can get your word, your scripture into their hearts. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so let's get going. My verse for today is Proverbs 4.21, and it says, Fill your thoughts with my words until they penetrate deep into your spirit. All right, so fill your thoughts. So we know your thoughts are kind of what you think, right? So your thoughts, they're in your mind. It's what you think. Your thoughts come from what you see, what you hear, what's around you, right? How you're feeling, those kind of determine what your thoughts are. All right. So fill your thoughts with my word. And God is saying this. So it's for scripture. Fill, he wants you to fill your thinking, your thoughts with scripture, words from the Bible, until they penetrate deep into your spirit. So that means until they get inside of your spirit, into your heart, um, and they kind of just stick there, right? So they got to get into your heart. Now, are we talking about your actual heart that kind of pumps the blood through your body? No. We're talking about the core of who you are, right? Who you are, um, like your personality, and what kind of makes you tick, what makes you go, right? Who you are. Your individual, it's you. It's your name. It's, it's what you think. It's what you do. It's how you act. It's your personality, right? So that's the core of who you are. This scripture says for you to fill your thoughts with scripture until it gets inside of who you are and it changes you. So just like we eat food and it goes through our mouth and goes into our bellies, right? Just like that, that's the same thing with thoughts and the scripture. If we can get the Bible into our minds, it'll get into our hearts. So Miss Christy, how do we do that, right? Have you ever taken your Bible and tried to memorize a verse, right? And you're sitting here and you're saying this verse over and over and over, right? And you feel like the more you say it, the less you even know what it's talking about, really. I mean, the more you say it, the more you can't even remember it, right? Well, I've got a couple of tips for you that's going to make that so much more easier, all right? I, I can't learn just by sitting here and just reading and reading and reading the same thing over and over and over my words get jumbled. I feel like I can't even read right. I can't talk right. It's just crazy. I know you've been there because I be, I go there all the time. So we're still going to use the Bible. We're still going to use scripture, but we're going to remember it a different way, an easier way. All right. So 
we're going to fill our thoughts with God's word until it gets into the core of who we are. So after this, I want you to go around your house somewhere, in your room, wherever you can find this stuff and grab a couple of things. You can just grab one thing. Um, you can do a couple of different things, whatever you have laying around. If you don't have, if you just can't find anything, you can ask somebody to maybe pick up something on their next grocery run or go to DG or whatever. But I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. So use a sticky pad. This is a small sticky pad. This is a big sticky pad. Miss Christy likes to use big sticky pads because I write big and because they have lines. Mm. When I write on this, it may start here, but then it kind of goes up and then it just, it just, it's not neat. Okay. So I have to use lines. So find yourself a sticky pad or I picked these up today at Walmart. They were on sale for a dollar. These are index cards. Okay. Uh, these actually have the lines on them. Some do, some don't. Um, so depending on what you like, I have to have the lines. So find you some index cards. Some of these are white, yellow, orange, green, and pink. Okay. So you can get different colors or you can get plain white. Find index cards. Or if nothing else, get yourself a sheet of paper, right? This is Olivia's paper. She doesn't know I'm, I'm borrowing it, um, but I'm sure she'll be. I will tell her when she gets home, I promise. She's at school. Okay. Take your piece of paper, fold it until you get blocks, okay? Then unfold it. You can use scissors. You can get somebody else to use scissors. Then cut the lines. You're going to have little blocks of paper, just like sticky notes. They're not going to stick like sticky notes. Just take some tape. That's it. Just take some tape and some pieces of paper. You can make your own sticky notes. Okay. All right. And then the last thing is Olivia has some of these. Um, I know you can get some of these maybe at Ollie's. You can get coloring books with scriptures on them at Ollie's. Uh, maybe Walmart. I'm, I'm not really sure. Amazon. Uh, but this is one that Olivia had. This is a verse. Let's do it this way. This is a verse. It says, "For the I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So I can't read backwards, apparently. But this is Jeremiah 29, 11, okay? This is a card that Olivia has. She has a stack of them. So what she would do is she'd go in here and color this, okay? The back is empty in case she wanted to make notes. But you can take a card like this and it's got the scripture already. You can color it, okay? Or if you're gonna use the other ways, what I do is I take like my sticky note with my lines and... I write my scripture on them, okay? So you're gonna take the scripture that you're trying to memorize, and I'm gonna give you a couple today. Uh, you're gonna write them on here. Okay, Miss Christy, what do you want me to do with them? You're gonna stick these up everywhere that you look often, okay? So maybe you watch TV, put this on your TV. Maybe you have a computer, stick it up by your computer. Put it next to the mirror in the bathroom. Um, stick them up on the TV. Let me see if I can find my other one. Here we go. Okay. Like this one, Proverbs 15, one, okay? Stick this up on the refrigerator. Wherever you go, if you have, um, I don't know, you like to look outside or whatever you like to do, wherever you're looking at a lot, Write scripture down, the one that you're trying to memorize, and do several. So find several scriptures in the Bible that's going to help you, right? That you want to memorize, that you want to get in your mind, to get in your heart. Write them on a sticky note, then stick them wherever you can think to stick them. Okay, have them all over your room. I don't know. Wherever you're going to look a lot and you're going to see, put it there so you can read it. Okay. All right. Maybe you're not that good at reading yet. Maybe you're younger. Okay. Write a verse that, um, that you can read. Okay. Get someone to help you. Ask someone to read it to you. Maybe you put it 
in front of a mirror. And then when your mom and dad maybe help you brush your teeth, they can read it to you. Okay. Maybe you put it on the cereal box. And when mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or whoever's with you, when they fix that cereal, that older brother or sister, they can read it to you then. Okay. Doesn't have to be that you read it. If you can't read, put it somewhere where somebody that can read can read this to you. All right. So what are you going to put on these? So like this one, I have Proverbs 15, 1. It says, respond gently when you are confronted. Now my handwriting is a little sloppy, so you may not be able to read it, but I can read it. Okay. So even if your handwriting is a little sloppy, like Miss Christie's, that's okay. As long as you can read it, you'll be able to read it and get it into your thoughts. Okay. So remember Proverbs 15, one, respond gently when you are confronted. So that means when somebody comes to you with a bad attitude or they're coming to be mean, or they're coming to accuse you of something you didn't do, remember, respond gently, okay? So the more you read this in the morning or at night or during the day, you have it on your one of your books at school and your locker at school, when somebody comes up to you, you're gonna remember this because you've put it in your thoughts, in your mind, okay? You've thought about it and it's gonna be written on your heart. All right, so what's another one? So this one, I used a big one. Proverbs 16, 3. Before you do anything, put your trust totally in God and not in yourself. So this is another good one that you can write on a sticky, post it up somewhere. And remember, you can remind yourself. So the more you see these, the more you read them, the easier it is to remember. And before long, you're going to remember this verse without even trying so that Throughout the day, if you go back to school, if you're getting ready to go back to school, if you're still learning at home, whatever you're doing, you're getting ready to go back to church, right? So you can always remember to put your trust totally in God and not in yourself, okay? All right, I've got one more. This one is actually not from Proverbs. This is from Psalms, and we went over Psalms last month, right? Psalms 53, 56, 3, sorry. But in the day that I'm afraid, I lay all my fears before you and trust in you with all my heart. So are you feeling afraid? Are you a little worried? Whatever the case may be, just remember you're going to put your trust in God. You're going to trust God with all of your heart. Okay? This is going to make a difference. I promise you. So go ahead. Get your Bible. Or go on Pinterest, get somebody to go on Pinterest, look up scriptures that are good for kids, scriptures on what you're going through. Okay, are you, are you afraid at night to go to sleep? Have somebody look up scriptures that help you, that help your mind not be stressed at night when you're going to sleep. Um, is there a bully that's treating you bad? There is a scripture for that, okay? Um whatever you're struggling with. Maybe you're afraid to get sick or maybe <clears throat> you're afraid of, I don't know, anything, anything that's bothering you, that's weighing kind of heavy and, and it just, it's just weighing heavy on your heart. You can find a scripture in the Bible for that, okay? So get somebody to help you. Find it in the Bible. Look on Pinterest. Help somebody, you know, get somebody to help you find the scriptures that you need, write them down, put them on note cards, post them up with tape, whatever you have to do. Get scriptures in your room, in the bathroom, on the refrigerator, on the cereal box, in your locker at school, wherever you go that you're going to spend any amount of time at, okay? Make sure you're getting your scriptures there so that you're seeing them, you're reading them over and over, and that's going to get in your thoughts, like the Proverbs verse says. And after that, it's going to get into the core of who you are. So what is that going to do for me, Miss Christy? So it's going to help you pray better because you're going to know what to pray. It's going to help you deal with things, right? Because I know kids, you have a lot to deal with, right? A lot is going on in your lives all the time. It's going to help you deal with that. Okay. It's also going to help you in your actions. So 
we call ourselves Christians, right? We follow Christ. That's a Christian. That's a Christ follower. Well, what person that doesn't believe in Jesus is going to want to ask you about Jesus if you don't have a good attitude, right? If you're mean all the time or, you know, what example are you setting? Well, getting scripture in your heart is going to change the what you think, change what you say, change how you are, how you act, your personality. It's just going to change you. It's going to make you so much better. And then people around you are going to be like, wow, what happened to you? You're so much, you know, nicer. You're so, you always got a smile on your face. What is that? And then you tell them about Jesus. So having scripture in your heart, in who you are, in your thoughts is going to help you deal with whatever you're going through. And then it's going to help you to be a witness because it's going to change who you are and people are going to notice. Okay. People are going to notice. I promise you that. So it's quick one today. <clears throat> but I want you to go right now. I want you to find uh, a pen, a marker, whatever, some pieces of paper, some sticky notes, some note cards, whatever you can find. All right, make it work. I know you are creative. I know you can do it. You're going to get this done. Start putting scriptures on your walls, wherever you can find, wherever you're going to see it and read it. Now, don't just post them up and think you're just going to know it. You got to read them, okay? And read it out loud. So read it, read it out loud, get it in your mind, start thinking about it. It's going to be great. It's going to change everything about you and who you are and what you go through. It's just going to be great. All right, guys. So this is our last lesson virtually from Miss Amanda and I. She says hi. She says she can't wait to see you again back in Kids Church in just a few weeks. All right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.